I'm here with Brenda Zins, head coach Brian Ball, Taylor Keneally, and Alicia Duxini. Coach, you just beat Central Missouri three to nothing in the regional central or central region final of the NCAA tournament. Just tell you, give us a little statement about how you think the game went. Yeah, well, you know, uh, we knew it would be a battle coming in. We have all the respect in the world for Central Missouri and their program, and uh, you know, we've had a lot of battles with them over the, the last few years. And um, for us to be able to kind of finally break through that barrier of uh, moving past the Sweet 16 and getting to the Elite Eight. Is, uh, is huge for our program, and we're so proud of our, our team. So maybe if anyone wants to say a little bit about how the dome played. I know the very last second change. Anyone want to say anything on that? Um, well, we had kind of just luckily been practicing during the week in Shattuck, which is also an indoor dome, so that was pretty lucky, I think. And then um, I think our team just kind of plays well as a whole while we're on the turf. I think we're a lot faster. I think our passes are a lot crisper. Um, so I really enjoyed the switch, even though it was kind of last minute, but and our whole facility is so nice, so I really enjoyed playing there. Yeah, I think we knew um, going in, we talked, it could be a chance that we could play here. So it was in our mind, um, that mindset that we could play here. So we kind of just took it as, um, you know, if we play here, we play in the field, we got to bring it either way. So. so in the second half, it seemed like there was a big change, you know, even late in the first. Was there any adjustment they had half time, or kind of what led to the offense on the offense? Yeah, I mean, we didn't, we didn't change a whole lot. We made uh, a couple small adjustments um, going into the second half in the very beginning. Um, I'm not so sure those adjustments actually helped us. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, fortunately, we were able to, to get on the board with uh, an awesome first goal there by Alicia. And, you know, then Bryn backed it up and allowed us to kind of sit in a little bit more from there and, uh, you know, close out the game. So um, Defensively, just talk about it. Seemed like back line, I guess they did it all. just want to say a little about that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, our back line is, especially down the stretch here, has just been such a rock for us, um, keeping people off the board, limiting opportunities. And that, that was just a, that was a terrific uh, attacking team that we just faced. And to limit them uh, like we did today, uh, just tremendous credit to our back line and to uh, Alexa and just everywhere on the field. You know, we talk, talked lately about grinding games out and making sure that we got the opponents. And, um, you know, I thought uh, today we did that. And then going into Sunday, what's going to be the key to getting away? Well, uh, Grand Valley is an incredible team um, and another team that has an amazing tradition uh, of success in the NCAA tournament and deep runs. And, um, you know, right now we're going to enjoy this for a few hours and then later tonight we'll kind of start looking and game planning for, for Grand Valley. But we'll have our hands full, but I believe in our team. And, Look forward to the opportunity. Alicia, you know, do you just want to talk about what you saw in the corner from Bryn, you know, for that first goal, for the game-winning goal? Yeah, so um, we were kind of going back and forth. You know, our opportunities were there. Um, we just had to put one away. I you know in that series we kind of had a three or four corners right in a row, and um, we were getting our opportunities, but on the one I just saw Bryn play the perfect ball, and um, I kind of just went up in the air and flipped in her back and watched it go in, so magically it went in. But. And then, Brent, on that play, uh, you tied the single season record mark for assists. What does that mean to you, uh, you personally? Um, I think that's like a big accomplishment. Like, the season has had a lot of like, ups and downs for me, but I feel like ending with like, tying the career assists, that was like a big weight off my shoulder. But, like, you did have a good season, even like, with like, injuries. And it's kind of like pretty cool to say that you're tied for like, the top assists. And then even then, on top of that, you had two goals this game. A big game from you. Um, what did you see during those goals, and what did you see from Central Moe's back line that you can get past them? Um, well, my first goal, I saw like my defender kind of like gave me the open space to shoot. I knew that um, she was kind of like dropping off, so kind of just went for it and hoped for the best. And then the second one, I knew that like if I was to make that one, then I would close out the game, and they really didn't have any hope anymore. So it's kind of like you just have to do it. <laughs> and then Taylor um, tied the career mark for games played in history at Minnesota State at 90. Um, you know, what does it mean for you playing here for these past four years and playing all those games? Um, playing here for these past four years has literally been the best experience of my life. And then to celebrate that with all the teammates that I've had throughout these last four years is something I would never change for the world. And I literally couldn't do it without any of them, my whole team. Is why I'm here. Awesome. Thank you guys and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.